Hey all, today we are going to discuss about osteogenesis imperfecta. As we know that it is also a bone and joint disease. It is also known as brittle bones, fragilitis osseum and osteoceterosis, lobstin's disease. It is basically a heterogeneous group of genetic diseases. The mode of inheritance is autosomal dominant. So there is a autosomal pattern of inheritance. The basic uh, cause behind the, uh, this disease that is osteogenesis imperfecta is abnormal type 1 collagen. This type 1 collagen is seen in bones, sclera, dentine, tendon and skin. So therefore the defects will be seen in these tissues as well. But it is more pronounced in our uh, bones, right? Or dentine. We are going to study about these two tissues more. So there are two genes that is COL1A1 and COL1A2. These genes are present on 17Q21 and 17Q, 7Q22.1 respectively. So both of these genes get mutated due to which there will be a qualitative as well as quantitative defect in type 1 collagen. And hence the disease osteogenesis imperfecta. The basic cause behind the disease is that there is a fetal collagen which cannot be transformed into a mature collagen which results in osteopenia. Osteopenia is basically a tendency of for fracture and defective bone healing. Defective bone healing and tendency of fracture is seen in this disease because the fetal collagen cannot be transformed into the mature collagen in osteogenesis imperfecta which leads to osteopenia. Now the clinical features of osteogenesis imperfecta. So firstly the age of onset. The age of onset varies depending upon the type of depending upon type of osteogenesis imperfecta. It may occur at the age of uh, at birth or infancy or in utero. Age of onset. Right? The child may be uh, stillborn or baby dies shortly after the birth. These conditions will can be seen depending upon the severity. Severity at the time of birth. At birth, there may, there may be no clinical features or prenatally lethal skeletal abnormalities can be seen. Right? Or there will be prenatal uh, fractures can be seen in uh, these patients. Right? Extreme fragility and porosities of the bones is seen. So the bone is fragile and therefore there are there is a proneness to fractures. So whenever the baby tries to crawl or walk, so there is a tendency of fractures. As we know that this uh, type 1 collagen is also present in sclera. So sclera is affected due to which the sclera becomes thin, very thin. So the underneath layer that is our choroid is seen basically. That's why the color of the sclera becomes pale blue. So pale blue sclera is seen in osteogenesis imperfecta. Nextly, there, uh, there are some few clinical features also seen like hearing loss will be there, laxity of the ligaments, hypermobility of the joints, capillary bleeding. Such features can also be seen in osteogenesis imperfecta. Now, according to silence, there are four uh, types of osteogenesis imperfecta. These are osteogenesis imperfecta type 1, type 2, 
type 3 and type 4 right so the first one that is the type 1 which is the most common and the mildest form right in this uh, form there will be 10 percent chances of prenatal fractures so 10 percent uh, patients show shows um, prenatal fractures the pale blue sclera will be seen in this uh, type as well mild to moderate bone fragility will be there spinal defects such as kyphoscoliosis will be there hearing loss and bruising tendencies will be there in type 1 osteogenesis imperfecta now in type 2 this is the most severe uh, type of osteogenesis imperfecta that is the type 2 here extreme bone fragility will be there frequent fractures will be there 90 percent of the patients are still born or die before four weeks of postnatal life that's why it is the most severe form right and prenatal fractures are also there so in utero fractures or prenatally there are fractures um, in the baby now the osteogenesis uh, genesis imperfecta type 3 there is opalescent dentine which is seen in type 3 and also in type 4 may be seen uh, so in type 3 there is opalescent dentine limb shortening right sclera hue triangular facies the face triangular facies will be there frontal bosing will be there in utero fractures are also seen in type 3 um, osteogenesis imperfecta pulmonary hypertensions will be seen right now the type 4 here all the things that are like um, normal sclera is normal hearing is normal but fractures are seen mild fractures are seen and mild uh, angulations will be there in the bone right interestingly osteogenesis imperfecta type 4 is of two types there are subtypes of osteogenesis imperfecta for type 4 that is subtype 1 and subtype 2 depending upon the presence or absence of opalescent dentine in subtype 1 there is presence or presence of opalescent dentine or it is associated with opalescent dentine but subtype 2 is not associated with opalescent dentine that's why it is differentiated into two right now the oral manifestations of osteogenesis imperfecta as it is a disease of bone so there are many craniofacial deformities are seen like large head size frontal bossing uh, and temporal bossing will also be there exaggerated occiput these um, conditions create a greater percentage of class 3 molar occlusions so there is a greater tendency in osteogenesis imperfecta patients that they will have class 3 molar occlusions anterior and posterior cross bites or open bites can be seen impactions and ectopic uh, teeth will be seen so there are many unerupted uh, teeth numerous unerupted teeth in are seen in um, osteogenesis imperfecta cases and also the teeth will be present at different uh, places uh, therefore the term ectopic teeth is uh, used in permanent dentitions there is unerupted class 1 and 2 sorry unerupted first and second molars so first and second molars are um, unerupted in osteogenesis imperfecta right so as there is type 1 collagen defect which will lead to a defective dentine which will de affect dentine this uh, condition is similar to dentinogenesis imperfecta but as the osteogenesis imperfecta is and um, genetic disorder is a genetic disorder therefore the term opalescent 
dentine is more appropriate to use here right so the defective dentine which is present in osteogenesis imperfecta is known as opalescent dentine right now the radiographic features of uh, osteogenesis imperfecta so as we know that osteopenia is seen so there is a tendency of fractures right and defective bone healing is seen in um, osteogenesis imperfecta bowing and angulation and deformity of long bones right weight bearing bones will be angulated bowing will be seen there is a tendency of multiple fractures so multiple fractures will also be seen in radiographic features right there is vermian bone which are present in skull these are multiple small sutural bones right which fail to fuse as we know that there are many sutures in our uh, skull which uh, get fused whenever um, at the time of development but in this case there is no fusion so therefore vermian bones vermian bones are present in osteogenesis imperfecta mixed radiolucencies are seen in jaw bones so there will be uh, radio opacities at some places and radio lucencies will be seen in at different places therefore the term mixed radio lucencies is used premature pulpal obliteration of the affected teeth this is very important fact about um, osteogenesis imperfecta that there is premature pulpal obliteration this is seen in osteogenesis imperfecta right histological features of osteogenesis imperfecta the bone will have thin cortices and will be composed of spongy bone the trabeculae present will be delicate and often shows micro fractures the osteoblastic activity will be retarded and imperfect even if after uh, bone fractures the healing will be defective right so defective healing will be there the bone will have same uh, defect the healed bone basically will have the same defect uh, which the normal bone or the naturally bone was having right there is basically a organic matrix defect organic matrix constitute um, our collagen so there is um, a defect in type 1 collagen as we know that the fetal collagen can't be transformed into the mature collagen this will lead to organic matrix defect right the normal intermolecular cross linkages between the adjacent uh, collagen will be absent or will be defective in osteogenesis imperfecta these are the features which can normally be seen in osteogenesis imperfecta absence or defective cross linkages between collagen will be seen the fetal collagen will be seen as it can be transformed into mature collagen right defective microvascular system will be there the collagen fibril diameter will be reduced so there is decreased collagen fibril diameter the treatment of osteogenesis imperfecta is not known yet but there is a um, genetic counseling which play a major role genetic counseling are there right and uh, prenatal ultrasonographies will can be done so prenatal diagnosis can be done diagnosis such as uh, prenatal natal ultrasonography right but basically there is no known treatment for this disease thank you